of this person. But again, uh, CHP actually has canceled the pursuit uh, as we're getting word as they went on Lancashire. So CHP not involved, but you can tell from above, they do appear to be at least monitoring where this person is gone. Uh, they were on the 134, past uh, going westbound there. They uh, were also past the two as they headed that direction. So here in the Glendale area, we watched this person just drive right past on the 134. Now appears to be either backing up maybe to turn around, but now running, uh, driving down these alleyways here near Vineland and Ventura Boulevard. So this person has shown absolutely no caution for anyone else. That has been the extent of the caution right there that we watched. Um, but it has been in a remarkably dangerous pursuit. And you can see now as speeds begin to pick up there, uh, just passing people off the freeway now. Looks like it's on Ventura Boulevard. It looks as if there was one person in the vehicle. Couldn't quite tell if it was a man or female, a male or female, but we did hear there was a, an animal in the car of some sort. But see what we're talking about. Driving into oncoming traffic to get around those folks, and at that speed, that gap closes very quickly to oncoming traffic. So now, back out where people are watching, this person has really picked up the speed again. Uh, we're not certain what charges this person might face at the beginning of the chase outside of the failure to yield, but there have been any number of violations that put a lot of people at risk to this point. So we do know CHP has canceled the action and on to continue their effort at escaping. And the odd thing here is the effort to escape and not really being followed by anyone on the ground. So we're not really certain what's going on in the mind of this person, but they are absolutely reckless and at a high rate of speed every time they come this person comes to a stoplight or stop sign they will do whatever they can to get through that intersection up to and including what i mentioned a moment ago onto the curb and potentially driving over a, a person who was sitting on the sidewalk so that was an incredibly uh, terrifying moment there as the person had to jump up on the fence just to get away from this cadillac that was driving there see that again around people and into traffic without even a, a hint of touching the brakes. Now they're going to be passing again on the right. Uh, speeding up here, it looks like now we might be on Laurel Canyon, if that's the, 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 the way I'm reading the map correctly. Uh, and they'll just continue on. So could go back to the freeway at this point if they can get that far. But you see that the, again, up on the shoulder, passing on the right just to get around people no matter how they, they can. Uh, but this Cadillac Escalade can drive certainly at high rates of speed, but it is going to be top heavy. And it's remarkable that this person has been able to maintain uh, this uh, effort at escape without wrecking that car. Because some of the, some of the moments, and there's some uh, speed bumps there, uh, some of the moments this person has, was driving on the freeway at 100 miles an hour, there's children just getting out of school, uh, possibly out for a walk. Not sure exactly what they were uh, doing, but we're not hearing a lot on LAPD possibly getting involved. LAPD is uh, asking questions regarding this chase to other law enforcement. They might start pursuing this because, as you saw, families are at risk. Children are at risk, and people out walking are at risk. This person has done nothing to slow down. It is a man. We can see that it is a man driving this vehicle. And uh, other than that, we're not quite certain what is going on as far as why this person is trying to escape. They, clearly, they, the vehicle in this circumstance is a weapon. We do not know if this, is per, or this person is armed uh, in any other uh, manner of speaking, but certainly has shown complete disregard for everyone on a commute at about 2.30 in the afternoon. So especially with children remote learning, could be out and about, uh, families maybe out at home walking around just about as this person is in this neighborhood. Look how close it takes to get through that area. So now on Riverside, uh, just got off of Laurel Canyon, but here we go again through another intersection, and that's going to be tough because it looks like a lot of traffic ahead. So now they will turn, looks, looks like, that's on craft, but where will this person go now? Because clearly they didn't like where they were heading there. So maybe just turn around and maybe they'll go left. Uh, 
Nope, they're going to go right, right back into the direction of the traffic. Looks like they're under a freeway there and probably behind that bus since we haven't seen them pop out on the other side. So we're going to take a moment here and see if this person has eluded us. Nope, there he is. So we now know that the person uh, stayed behind that bus for a second. And oh, there's contact with the bus right there on that passenger side. Thankfully, the bus looked to be able to maintain control of that vehicle. And so now the person is continuing on their way of Tahunga, on Tahunga Avenue uh, in the San Fernando Valley. And doesn't appear if it's, anything's in front of them for the time being. But here we go with another intersection. And again, how much will they slow before getting right out in front of everybody? Not a big problem there. It didn't seem like there was any oncoming traffic. So the person now moves on. And if I'm correct, that's he made it. So he made the turn, but lost a little bit of control there as it almost ran into a parked vehicle. But again, now you're in communities driving at this rate of speed and showing no signs of slowing down. So the hope is that if you live in this neighborhood or in this community, do not go outside and see how this is going. Just stay inside and stay with us here online and on our ABC7 Los Angeles apps as we follow this chase together. Uh, so far, it hasn't really affected the commute much, uh, if anybody is needing to get out and about on the freeways. Um, but certainly there are times where this looks like it will end in a spectacular fashion, and that is uh, not a good thing because this person looks like they could run into something, wreck, lose control of this vehicle. It could potentially hurt somebody. Now here we are in another left turn lane and going straight and leaving it to everybody else to stop and avoid him. So he went through that intersection completely against the traffic lights and thankfully other people were able to stop. The problem with that is that the people could see him coming. Um, if you've got a green light and you're just continuing on your way, you might not have an opportunity to stop before broadsiding another vehicle, which would be horrific and we certainly don't want to see that. But this person is continuing to try to escape. Let's take a look at our local, local notes here. Looks like LAPD air uh, airship is now calling the pursuit as LAPD units trying to get into position. So we know that now. Um, and again, most of this has been involved just seeing who's going to pick up this pursuit after CHP left this person because they left the freeways. So now let's just see again, look at the dangerous way this person is driving in the bike lane. So if there was somebody in that bike lane, minding their own business, it could end horrifically for them. So this person has passed everybody on the right to get ahead of traffic and successfully has done that. So again, so far, most of the intersections uh, he's been able to get through without too much of a problem. But here we go again. Every time he comes up on congestion, he's just weaving in and out of traffic. Now, nearly hitting a parked car, pulling over on the side. So let's see what happens here. Hits that, he's hit a vehicle. Look at the damage to that white sedan there. So he's hit that vehicle, not sure what was going on as to why he pulled off. Now goes through a gas station parking lot and turning right. So now here we, back, here we are back on Ventura Boulevard, kind of making a, a square or a circle of some sort, but we've seen him nearly hit a person. He's hit a parked vehicle, sideswiped a bus, and now you've got a bicyclist crossing the road in front of this person. So let's see what happens here, because again, running up on traffic pulls a U-turn. In Ventura Boulevard, into oncoming traffic, leaving everybody else to wait it out. And now here we go, going into a parking lot. All right, so now this is going to be a problem, uh, as authorities are going to have to figure out. If they knew who it is, now we're all sitting here together. Um, if the authorities know who this is, they could get this person later. This will be a problem if that's a stolen vehicle of some sort because the person could park the vehicle, get out, and none of us here at Air 7 or any of their airships will be able to know where this person is. So now we're just going to maybe talk to the desk and talk to our folks in uh, transmission because there's not likely a chase at this point. I don't know if they'll lock that shopping center down there, uh, but that person has found a place to hide. And given the fact that we are having people shop in stores, 
everybody's wearing masks. We didn't get too much of a description as to what this person was wearing. But you can see there are no um, police vehicles very near this person. So sheriffs are above. They know what mall this is, went into the marshal's parking lot. Um, but we're not going to be able to, if this person just pulls in and parks and that is a stolen vehicle, there is very possible, uh, very pos a very high possibility that we're not going to see this person again. They may just go into the store, come out and walk away. Um, but we don't, <laughs> at this point we have no information. So uh, welcome to our world. What is that? If we have Air 7, is that a person right there in the parking lot that pulled out just to the, yeah. Does not look like the same. Uh, I was actually looking to the right if they hear us. Is that black SUV? No, that's not. I just saw a black SUV. So here ends the rub. If the person got out of the vehicle, there's LAPD now. So we're going to see together how they approach this. If they're going to stop traffic from coming out of there or if they are just going to see how this plays out. But now there are certainly people in that mall that have no idea what's going to come on them. So as we look at this, we have some video of earlier in the chase. So we're going to keep this live up. This is what I'm talking about with the way this person was driving. Over 100 miles an hour, passing on the right. And if you notice those gutters in the side of the freeway, watch this. See how he goes in and out of that. At that rate of speed, it's remarkable that the Cadillac Escalade didn't flip. I don't know where the video is going to go, but we might be able to show you here in a moment. Uh, there's the ABC 7 Eyewitness News van showing up at the mall so that we can see what happens there. Uh, but this Escalade, uh, it was ridiculous the way this person turned right uh, to escape traffic at congestion at an intersection and then nearly ran over a young man who was sitting. Here it is right here. Watch how you see the person now the kid had to jump up on that fence. And can you imagine you're just sitting there and <laughs> a Cadillac Escalade nearly runs you over. So we're sitting here now. That's the video of the accident. And as you see the tape on the right of the pursuit, uh, you're starting to see now LAPD in place and they're taking a look and they're, it looks like what they're going to do is inspect every vehicle that comes out uh, because you don't want this person if they're armed to take a hostage and get somebody uh, to drive him out of there. So now this is going to be a remarkable experience for a lot of people just wondering what's happening as they try to leave the mall. And I'm going to see if there's anybody in the booth that can let me know which mall this is to kind of pass this along to folks. Um, but I do not know that. Let's see here. Um, so apparently they're just going to kind of watch and see who's coming out of there. That's what LAP, okay, we got the Studio City Place. Thank you, Air 7. So this is Studio City Place. The suspect that is in the right here that you're seeing video pulled into the Marshall's parking structure at Studio City Place, this mall, um, where you see uh, one of our news vans right outside. They likely, if I was just to guess, this person pulled in there, parked, and just walked into the store. Because if that was a stolen Cadillac Escalade, um, then they have no idea who that person is. And with any luck, the person might be able to simply walk out of there uh, pretending to be a store patron of some sort. But at this point, it does look like what LAPD is doing is checking every vehicle that comes out of the parking garage to see if the person possibly got into the back seat with a weapon and maybe uh, took somebody in a carjacking circumstance, uh, or they're just going to look and make sure every person coming out of there is who they're supposed to be. It looks like one of our photographers is also asking some people um, as well if they saw anything, because that too will help LAPD if they find out if there's anybody with a black Escalade that pulled into that parking structure and parked somewhere. So um, we don't know necessarily how.